Hello, my name is Hervé Bachelet. It's my pleasure to uh, welcome you to this uh, session dedicated to the complex relationship between pustular psoriasis and uh, psoriasis-like uh, variant with psoriasis vulgaris. I would like to thank the organizer for the invitation and Professor Louis Puig for moderating this session. These are my disclosures. Pustular psoriasis encompass a list of uh, our clinical entities we share in common, the presence of pustules. The less rare is the uh, palmoplantar pustulosis variant, while other very rare variants include acrodermatitis continua of alopu, an acropustular variant, and the disseminated of generalized pustular variant, which is generalized pustular psoriasis or GPP. On the other hand, uh, psoriasis vulgaris and black psoriasis uh, is, as you know, a highly prevalent uh, inflammatory skin disease. The Eraspin consensus has defined uh, what uh, refers to the uh, clinical presentation of the generalized pustular psoriasis, of, uh, basically uh, affecting more than 10% of the uh, uh, body skin surface and uh, sharing in common with palmoplantar pustular and acropustular variants. The presence of uh, primary sterile or non-septic or non-infectious macroscopically visible pustules. GPP is either a chronic or relapsing uh, 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 disease. And uh, uh, basically uh, there, there is or not the presence of uh, uh, systemic symptoms in this setting. The main differences between pustular psoriasis and psoriasis vulgaris are listed in, on this slide. On the left, you can see that pustular psoriasis is very rare for GPP or rare for PPP, where it's highly prevalent uh, for psoriasis vulgaris. The presence of intermittent acute flare is contradicted by the chronic course of uh, psoriasis vulgaris. And the presence of systemic symptoms in GPP are the presence of uh, or the possibility of extracutaneous neutrophilic direct involvement of liver biliary ducts of lung, uh, is not seen in psoriasis vulgaris. And the same observation uh, applies for the presence of peripheral blood neutrophilia and high CRP serum levels, which are not seen in psoriasis vulgaris. And finally, uh, the uh, 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 therapeutic response to antipsoriatic therapies is much less consistent in pustular disease than in psoriasis vulgaris. This applies for the biological targeted therapies. But the major difference between uh, pustular disease and uh, psoriasis vulgaris uh, lies essentially for generalized pustular psoriasis, but also for uh, PPP and ACH, the genetic model. It is a monogenic model for GPP, which is dominant, and it is a complex multigenic model for psoriasis vulgaris, as you know. And this has been shown by uh, several uh, seminal publications. Um, uh, there's two seminal publications in 2011, one from uh, our group uh, in the New England Journal of Medicine and uh, the one from Onupriadis from the Richard Trembath, Jonathan Barker and uh, Francesca Capon's group in American Journal of Human Genetics, showing that alpha 6 RN mutation, alpha 6 RN is a gene encoding for the alpha 6 receptor antagonist uh, a negative regulator, member of the IL-1 family, which prevents an, an uncontrolled inflammatory cascade downstream the ligation of a, one of the three agonists of the IL-36, alpha, beta, and gamma, with a receptor. The prevalence of the mutation of IL-36 RN oscillates from uh, 20 to 25% in GPP, as shown in this publication by Sophie Twells and Francesca Capon, um, and 5% uh, in PPP and roughly 17% uh, in ACH. There are more new mutations resulting to no protein uh, in GPP in acute generalized exanthematous pustular eruption, a drug-induced uh, GPP-like, a drug-induced variant, and more hypomorphic mutation with residual activity in localized form like PPP and ACH, as we showed in our group. The L36 uh, RN gene is not altered in psoriasis vulgaris patients. At least there is no overprevalence of L36 RN pathogenic variant in this setting. However, the L36 pathway is upregulated, deregulated for all the agonists in the psoriasis vulgaris lesions. 
and the uh, uh, blockage or invalidation of the ALK6 uh, receptor results in a major skin uh, inflammation alleviation in some mouse models, which uh, mirrors uh, the psoriasis vulgaris skin inflammation, suggesting that to some extent, ALK36 uh, is involved in the pathogenesis of psoriasis vulgaris, although it's not genetically altered. And the hierarchy of this positioning of the L36 in the uh, psoriasis vulgaris pathogenesis is not uh, known at the moment we are speaking. Other genetic abnormalities have been associated with to pustular psoriasis uh, clinical variants. CART14 gain of function mutation of these uh, innate immun uh, immunity genes resulting in increased nf kappa -B signaling and deregulated L23, L17 driven cascade have been detected in GPP in PPP, but also in Mendelian cases of toysis vulgaris, in pityriasis rubrapillaris, in the so-called CAL14 papulosquamous eruption, showing again some degree of intersection uh, between these uh, different clinical entities. AP1S3 is a member of the uh, AP1 family involved in innate immunity and keratinocytotophagy. It a uh, genetic uh, mutation has been uh, detected of AP1S3 in GPP, ACH, and PPP. Serpin A3 is a negative regulator of the protease apparel, which activates both the uh, uh, agonist uh, and the antagonist of the LT6 uh, uh, receptor, have been shown in GPP uh, patients. And lately, male peroxidase uh, genetic abnormalities have been loss of function mutation have been detected in patients uh, with GPP, ACH, and a gap. The comparison of the molecular profiling in GPP, PPP, and PV led to two major observations. First, there are some so-called privately upregulated activities in neutrophilic variants, such as the CF family members, CF1 and 4, uh, but also protein usually expressed in neural tissues, such as GPRIN1, ADAM23. This has been shown by the group of uh, Johan Johnson. On the other hand, the group of Jim Kruger lately shown, and this is in press in the Journal of Allergy and Clinical Immunology, that the top 20 of regulated genes uh, in GPP uh, and in psoriasis vulgaris are identical, but what differs between the two is the magnitude of regulation. And among these genes are one beta encoding gene, alt 6 alpha encoding gene, and others. So again, there is a, some degree of intersection, which is also suggested by the uh, presence of uh, similar triggers for GPP and psoriasis vulgaris, as shown in these two publications by our group. Uh, first, the involvement of respiratory uh, uh, virus uh, triggers uh, before the SARS-CoV-2 pandemic um, uh, in cases of psoriasis vulgaris, but also GPP with or without altisarin mutation. And lately, a SARS-CoV-2 induced acute uh, flare in a, in a young uh, patient with a strong neutrophilic signature uh, immediately following the uh, infection uh, with SARS-CoV-2. So we can say that uh, only for uh, the deficiency in IL-36 receptor antagonists, and let's say uh, widely for GPP, this is a new auto-inflammatory syndrome meaning that this is a clinical disorder resulting from a deregulation of the innate immune system primarily rather than the adaptive immune system. Even though the uh, TH17 uh, cascade is uh, enhanced in these patients, it's not primarily pathogenic. And then a neighboring disease called deficiency in IL-1 receptor antagonist has been uh, uh, pionerally identified by the group of uh, Daniel Kastner in the NIH uh, with uh, bone abnormalities. Now we can say uh, that uh, without doubt, IL-36 is deregulated in both pustular psoriasis and psoriasis vulgaris. Uh, probably uh, what is different is the, uh, the, the positioning uh, in the uh, hierarchy of the inflammatory cascade uh, between the two. In uh, uh, pustular psoriasis, the IL-36 uh, the pathway deregulation is probably a, a primary event, uh, a driving, uh, and a major uh, genetic uh, event resulting from genetic abnormality, while uh, basically the L23, L17 driven cascade remains the mainstay of the pathogenesis of psoriasis vulgaris at the uh, population level, even though IL36 is deregulating in this setting. 
And this has also some therapeutic consequences. Uh, indeed, uh, IL-36 uh, receptor inhibiting uh, drugs, uh, monoclonal antibodies against the IL-36 receptor have been uh, uh, designed and uh, entering uh, drug development. This is the case for spezolimab uh, and for imcidolimab to humanize antibody towards the uh, IL-36 receptor. Um, uh, the the uh, results from a proof of concept study uh, with spezolimab uh, through a single intravenous infusion have been published in uh, seven uh, GPP patients, three of them are carrying the L6 RN uh, mutations, and results were extremely appealing on the short run, uh, uh, with uh, five out of seven patients uh, achieving the clear to a most clear static within a week, uh, and all of these patients uh, within four weeks. Uh, phase two uh, studies with spezolimab, phase three uh, with the imcidolimab are uh, uh, currently uh, ongoing or launched, and studies in PPP uh, have been uh, uh, also uh, conducted. And with uh, the early data from the uh, phase two study with spezolimab will be uh, presented during this, uh, uh, the, the main meeting, the main EADV meeting. The other consequences is that it's uh, still unknown whether IL-36 inhibition might work, uh, whatever is the genetic background, or we will have to go to a precision medicine uh, approach with, uh, uh, let's say, uh, more uh, IL-23, IL-17 blockades in patients with CAR-14 abnormalities, more IL-36 uh, inhibition, uh, IL-36-RN, but also MPO uh, and uh, SRPNA3 uh, mutated patients. This is currently unknown, um, and the clinical studies will uh, uh, give uh, very uh, appealing insights regarding this. So to conclude, um, it is uh, clear that pustular psoriasis subtypes, mainly GPP, they differ genetically from psoriasis vulgaris. One is monogenic, the other is complex multigenic. Uh, but there is some degree intersection for the CAR14 associated one. In a dominant monogenic model, several genes have been associated with pustular psoriasis, but not with PV except for CAR14. However, the molecular profiling studies revealed shared patterns between GPP and uh, PPP uh, on one hand, and on the other hand, psoriasis vulgaris. But probably the pathogenic scenario operating in vivo remains to be uh, uh, deciphered in many patients, and it might be different across these uh, different subtypes. And these advances already led to the development of innovative drugs, uh, mainly IL-36 receptor inhibitors, with very promising results in GPP. I would like to thank you for your attention.